If you ask me, I honestly cannot remember. Yeah, I'm bad. Anyways, we got the Youngdo Portable Oral Irrigator, and I would normally call it a water flosser, but it's actually a bit more than that, and we'll get to that when we get to it, so make sure you stay tuned. We have a 300 milliliter water tank capacity, so we're gonna hold a ton of water, or if you wanna kill two birds with one stone, some mouthwash. We have a 360 degree head, so you can easily clean every inch of your mouth. Millimeter of your mouth? Centimeter? Something. We have a rechargeable battery, so you don't have to worry about getting AA or AAA batteries when this thing dies. Just plug it in and be ready to go. And of course, it's going to be IPX7 waterproof, so that way you can use it with water and use it around water without having to worry. This has four different modes, including normal, which is between 100 and 120 PSI for a deep cleaning. Pulse mode, which is between 45 and 75 PSI to massage your gums. Soft mode, which is between 45 and 55 PSI in case you're a beginner or you have sensitive gums and teeth. And there's even a DIY mode, which is between 30 and 120 psi so you can basically be in control the battery is 2000 milliamp hours and it'll last you up to 30 days of cleaning time and of course the water tank's detachable so that way it's easy to fill up and something that still boggles my mind is the water pulse is between 1400 and 2000 times per minute per minute like that doesn't even sound possible really oh nice we even have a little carrying case here so it's easy to take this with you on the go no way! It even comes with some actual flossers so you can actually manually floss if you want to in case you don't think that water flossing gets you clean enough. That's pretty awesome. Even a nice little carrying case? Did not expect this. Also inside the box I have a user manual. We have two extra tips in case you want to share this with other people. The USB charging cable, the main tip you're going to use for cleaning. And remember I said this was more than just a water flosser? This right here kind of surprised me that it was included, but take a look at what we have. We actually have a tip here that's actually a nasal nozzle so you can actually flush out your no nozzle passages or whatever it's called. Pretty cool. Although I'm kind of curious if I would drown or not. I feel like I would. I guess we'll find out. And then we have the actual device itself. And all right, it's feeling very high quality, looking very nice. Have a little sticker here to press for 0.3 seconds to turn it on. Okay. Pretty cool. Really loving this design. White with some light blue. It looks so clean. And also this chrome blue looks very nice. We have Young Do branding on the front. That 300 milliliter capacity water tank right here on the back is where you're going to fill it up. But you are going to be able to disconnect it. Just twist it to the left. It'll pop right out. You can see a little straw that sucks the water through. Although, wait a minute. This happened last time I tried one of these. I tried to fill it up through here, but then it was coming out here. So I don't know why I did that. I guess if you wanted to fill it up while it was attached, you would go through here. But otherwise, if you're disconnecting, you can just fill it up through this big top and then put it back together like so. Very simple process. Over on the back, we have a bunch of little rivets to give you a nice grip. Feels very grippy. Along with the watertight seal charging port. Over on the front, we have the power button, a mode button. So let's see, we're gonna press 0.3 seconds to turn it on. Then we can cycle between the modes. and you can hear how each mode is different. And also up top we have the lock button, which once you hold it down you can unlock the tip so you can pull it out easily. And to get the tip installed, it's very simple, you get it? There you go, that was, that was really complicated. I can't believe I did that by myself. And as you can see, it's locked in unless you push this button, and it comes right out. Same thing goes for the nasal attachment, just stick it in, and you're good to go. Wanna take it out? Let's pull it out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And in case you're wondering about the little carrying pouch, let's see how well this actually fits. Okay, it actually fits very well. Nice little drawstring, lock it up. Good to go, take it on your road trip. Road trip, take it on any trip really. Take it to your hotel and that way you can floss no matter where you are, just fill it up with some water and you're ready to go. Now, without further ado, there's nothing else we can do here. We're gonna go fill this up with some water and put it to the test. Hopefully I don't drown shoving this thing up my nose. In the bathroom, sorry about the echo, but there's not much I can do about that unless I, I guess if I put some foam on. Whatever, who cares? We got the water flosser here. We got it filled up to the brim with water all the way up there. You can see it, 300 milliliters. Yes, sir. We got the tip on. Before I actually try this out on myself, we're gonna take a look at the jet so you guys can see how powerful this water actually is. Yo, look at that. That is pretty cool, huh? So now, let's try it out on my teeth. And a lot of people did recommend that if you want to do this without making a mess, you go over the sink like this and go But, so you guys can see, I'm not gonna be able to do that, so I guess we're making a mess. Mm. It's all over the floor, but whatever. I don't know if you guys can see exactly what's going on, but this water is so fine, it goes right between the teeth. Like, you can feel it penetrating right between the teeth. It's pretty cool. It's a really crazy feeling. Like I didn't think water could get this fun without literally cutting a hole in your face, but it's doing it. That was normal mode, now we're gonna try soft mode. Mm. Big D. 
difference right there. The first one, I did feel a little bit of discomfort on my tongue as the water was hitting it, although the soft mode, that discomfort went away. It just felt like it was going through my teeth, no pain whatsoever, so that's awesome. Now, let's get on to pulse mode. This one's gonna be fun, I want a massage. That's cool. It goes, it stops, it goes, it stops. It's like an endless supply of pulsation. And then we got DIY mode, so let's try this one out. Mm. Okay, so DIY mode is actually really cool. It starts off extremely slow at 20 PSI, which is as low as it can go. So you're not gonna feel anything. Like that right there is probably the most sensitive one you could use. But as you hold down the power button, it increases in speed until you let go. So that way you can choose exactly how fast you want the water pressure to be. So basically this thing right here, this is like the best one I've used so far because none of the other ones I've tried had DIY mode where you can customize the water pressure to your liking. So in short, the actual water flossing works very well, but now it's time. I don't wanna do this, but I know somebody's gonna try to be smart in the comments and be like, hey, why don't you try that nose thing? Guess I'm gonna try it. There we go, look how that looks. So before we actually do it, I'm gonna put on normal mode. I don't know what mode to try it on. I'm gonna test it out first and see what this looks like. Oh, look at that. It's not a fine stream of water. It's a little bit thicker and it's a little bit messier. I don't know, let me try it on soft though. I'm gonna probably, I'll probably start on DIY to be honest. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna start right there. DIY on the lowest one. <sighs> Hopefully I don't drown. <laughs> what do you do, stick it up your nose? are back and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. It works very well for the teeth, but more so, that nose thing, uh, it kinda caught me off guard. I thought I was gonna drown, but it did its job, I guess. I mean, I'm, that's the first time I've ever used a nose nasal cleaning device and yeah, it's pretty weird. Definitely try it out yourself so you guys can experience it because I can't really explain what happened. But overall, this is a very good flosser, different tips, and they're easily replaceable so you can get more if you need to. That way, wait, would you ever need to? I know like toothbrushes you replace, but this, there's no bristles or anything. So unless you break it, I don't see any reason you need to replace it. Plus each one has a different colored ring so you can differentiate them between three different people. So that's awesome and amazing right there. If you have sensitive teeth, you can always start with soft and then work your way up if you end up losing that sensitivity or whatever happens. But it works very well, definitely cleans the teeth, and plus, you even get those actual flossers in case you miss a spot or something, or you want to get a deeper cleaning, because some people say water flossing's not the same as regular flossing, although, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? And I'm gonna just do this, because it's a lot easier and a lot more fun.